Hey guys, this is the Quero Railroader. I'm here in lovely Flatonia, Texas. I've hooked up with my buddy Sidetrack Tommy and he's going to unlock the caboose for us. We're going inside a Southern Pacific 4743, take an inside peek at the interior. We've got a couple of more videos planned for y'all uh, out of this trip. So, uh, that being said, let's get inside. Let's check out this caboose. Southern Pacific Caboose number 4743 on display in the public square in Flatonia, Texas. Guys, I've been waiting for this video for too long, and I know you have too. So, let's get started and let's check this caboose out. We're going to start off right here toward the back of the caboose. We've got a storage compartment in here. This rack right here is uh, what they would use to stack up the wood for the stove. They would use this, the train crews would use this stove to uh, both heat the caboose and cook their food right there. Uh, you've got seats right here for the train crews. The style of caboose is a bay window caboose, so that means instead of a uh, cupola up top where they would observe the train from you had these bay windows on the sides of the caboose where they would watch the train from the sides and there you see tower number three and uh, it had two bay windows it had a bay window on either side of the caboose right here is a small desk where the uh, conductor would fill out his train reports, go over the way bills and the bills of lading, and there was the chair he would sit in. Um, this box, as you can see, would hold fuses and torpedoes, their first aid kit station. Um, I'm trying to remember what this is. I'm sure Tommy will let me know, and I will uh, put in a description in the video. I will include it in the description of the video as to what this is. Um, that right there, that was an emergency air brake that the uh, train crew could throw from here and uh, stop the train if need be. There was the uh, air pressure gauge that told them how much air was built up in the, uh, in the air brakes. And uh, this right here, you can see it's marked with the voltages. It's an uh, electrical cabinet. I know you guys can't see that very well, but there's all kinds of electrical outlets and fuses and all that fun stuff in here. Close that back up. And uh, here was the, uh, this is where the latrine was uh, located. So you have a small wash closet here, there's your sink. Um, the toilet was located right here in this dark empty space. And then you have the other end of the caboose you could see there's another chair another crew chair right here and another window with a curtain and these uh, vents right here were air vents to uh, open up the car for ventilation without having to open up the doors and right there spare knuckles they would always keep spare knuckles on the uh, caboose that way, uh, if a knuckle on a coupler broke, they could have it on hand to replace it, any coupler, any coupler knuckle that broke anywhere on the train. This is too cool.
tell you what, I love making these videos for you guys. I hope you throw them in the as much as I enjoy making them for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And as always, happy railroading, guys. If you would like to visit Flatonia, Texas, and get some more information on the location of the town, and some more information on some of the attractions that you would find both in Flatonia and the surrounding area, you can contact Tommy Schultz at his website, www.sidetracktommy.com. You can also find information for don on how to donate to the rail center in Flatonia and to the rail park in general. Thank you for watching, and remember guys, happy railroading.